What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. Look at me. I just finished unpacking almost 50 boxes, and I'm going to tell you, I am completely exhausted. But we need to get this done. I have so much work to do in the pan room, and I have to do it when I can fit it in because I work full time, right? So today's Wednesday. We're going to take. Um, a little bit of time and tear up some boxes and get this pan room going. We're gonna have us a little pan room party. There's Eric right there bringing some uh, uh, potatoes that he just cooked in the air fryer. Mm -hmm. So join me, let's go get that pan room and let's get some work done. So the great pan room unload is underway. Right now I'm unloading this uh, all clad Dutch oven. Yay, over here I got a mixer and my vacuum cleaner. Um, and there's the pan room. I started on this last night. I must have done about 40 boxes last night. It was absolute chaos up in here. I just threw stuff in here. It's not in any kind of order. Um, and this is how it's looking. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. One problem I have is this cabinet was jammed in the move and I can't get the lock unlock. So I have to figure out how to fix that. Um, we got a bunch of parts here for mixers. No idea where I'm gonna put that just yet. More mixer parts down there. I got a couple mixers sitting here on the HL6 cart, which HL6 is saying, get off my cart. I just threw a couple things in here because I haven't unpacked everything. So I'm not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to get some organization going. I just, I mean, look at that. <laughs> I got a sous vide thing here. I got all kinds of stuff. La Cruze, um, got the Famag, got some stuff started up over here, got my cutting board started over here. It's just a mess up in here. Oh, look at this. I spy some Misen. Yeah! So here we have a whole bunch of prep bowls. I have a ton more. I need to find the thing to it that goes into the gadget cabinet. This is a box of ladles, but there's other stuff in here. Like there's a, this is the lid to my Chef IQ. There's some racks in here. So this is totally out of order. Down here, I have my little um, breading station that I use all the time. Here I have some parts to the artiste. Here's some Bosch parts and a plastic container. Eric took off the back of the cabinet. So we have to take the whole thing apart. Does it open? No! Well, something's jammed. Something's jammed. I, got the, I mean, got, I can see your fingers. Yeah, I've got the rods out. The rods aren't. Something at the bottom is jammed. So we took some drastic measures and we're taking the back off of it. Um, Eric got one section off and got the lock uh, open and it's not the lock that's causing the problem it's something down below so we have to take off these bottom ones to uh, <laughs> get the rod there's some rods in there and it must be jammed so something down there is jammed so we got to get the back of this off um, and see what's going on there's my lights back there that are ultimately going to go in there um, so we got some fun stuff here I haven't been able to make a salad because I couldn't find my salad spinner. I like to buy uh, heads of romaine, heads of other kind of lettuces and store them in this thing. So we found that. I found a uh, two level cake uh, stand. I think this is gonna go in my um, curio cabinets. I found a Cuisinart food processor, more prep bowls. I found some fake ice. <laughs> 
don't ask about that. Um, more prep bowls. I use ton of prep bowls. I got in this habit of prepping and keeping everything separate so it makes my cooking more efficient and I use them all the time. Um, I have this measuring cup. I don't want to break it. I love these. They're sauce cups and I use them for prep. Have a cup of cookie cutters. I have a Le Creuset grill there. I don't use that for grilling because it's impossible to clean. So I just use it for serving. Um, another prep bowl. I have some candlesticks. I'm going to have to put those somewhere else, but temporarily they're going to be in here. Um, I have a little roller for pastry. Here's a piece to my uh, scraper for my Bosch. I don't know why it's floating. And this is a bread lame. This is for, for slashing dough. Oh my gosh, this is the front porch right now. <laughs> I think uh, all these are empty boxes. I think a trip to the trash is in order. I even got um, a camera stand out here. But look at the beautiful morning. <laughs> Lots of fog out today. Wow. Okay, let's get cracking. Okay, so I found my strainers. Unfortunately, there's other stuff in here like parts to my chafing dish. So we need to work that out. Some more strainers, some splatter guards. These are um, place card holders. Yay, Boo got it open. So it was the rod down well, at the bottom, right? Well, the rod was holding it closed. Uh, once I got completely out, it was, we have to do an instant replay like this. <laughs> it was in the back. Yeah. We get the idea. Yeah. Door, and the door shall open. Okay, oh my gosh. I don't know, how are we gonna keep it from doing that again? Well. <laughs> no we, idea. <laughs> we, we don't know what happened. Um, but, um, I don't know. Do you need the lock to keep the door happy? Does it have a magnet? Can you just stay shut something like that? And then you just open it? Yeah. Yeah. Because the other one I don't think has a magnet. So the other one you have to turn the key to keep the door shut. But this one I think you can just open it shut. Okay, so we can leave. Okay, more stuff. So we have an Instant Pot Ultra. This is like one of my favorite Instant Pot. Actually the Duo is one of my favorites. But I really like the Ultra too. Um, I have a bucket of scoops here. I have another uh, bucket here. Here's a strainer. I love this thing. I got this idea from Glenn, my buddy Glenn over at Glenn and Friends. Um, he uses one of these, so I got it. I think it's really neat. I just put a little bit of pasta in there, throw it in some water, and I'm able to, you know, cook it really easy. Um, this is an all-clad measuring uh, flask. I, I don't know, measuring, I don't know what you call this, beaker. Um, I got this a long time ago, and what's funny is All Clad used to make fun pieces like this. Me and Cash were talking the other day, and they used to make a lot of these fun pieces, and they just don't do that anymore. I don't know what's going on. So we also have a bucket of spoons here, lots of different rice paddles, lots of different fun stuff. Down here I have a strainer that fits in the Instant Pot. I have some parts to the KitchenAid food processor. Down here I have some mitts, hot mitts. And some of my hot mitts, I, you know, a couple of them are a little rough, but we'll talk about this in the future, about chasing trends and always needing like to redecorate everything all the time. I don't do that. Um, here is a juicer citrus juicer, and there's some parts to KitchenAid food processor. Okay, on here I have a food saver. I have this that I've kept 
measuring spoons in and they're all plastic. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that. Um, I have some prep bowls in here. I have my whisks, but I also have some other things thrown in there. Platters, more prep bowls. I got a bunt pan down there and a silicone bunt pan. Over here, I have an Emile Henri. I always pronounce that wrong. I think this is a flame. I love this piece. I'll show it to you in the future. So I need to go into the pan room and do a little bit of organization. I need to move some of this gadget cabinet stuff in the gadget cabinet so I can make a little more room. So I think I'm gonna designate this first one as cooking and that one as baking, mainly because when I come in here, that's like the first thing I go to and I'm usually cooking more often than baking. Um, Eric so kindly got this to work for me. So let's go ahead and get some of this stuff in here. I guess I didn't realize this before, but that one has four shelves. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. This is where we are <laughs> so far. We have this part, weighs like five pounds. Yeah. Got this part that weighs like 20. Got this part that weighs like 80. Okay, cooks, this place finally feels like home. It's Wednesday, my HL6 is out of the box, and this is starting to feel like it's my pan room. This makes me so happy because it's been so many months through this whole process of packing and moving, and finally, with my Hobart HL6 out of the box, this now feels like my pan room. So what's up, it's Wednesday. Let's have a good time, get some of this stuff out of the box, and let's make this the pan room once again. So there's Flash earning his keep, hauling away the trash so he could take it to the dump. Wow, look at this paper! Cycle people are gonna just love us. <laughs>